What's up with you guys? It's your boy Jan Hunter Jr. here and check it out. I've been getting a ton of questions on how to get a wider mix. So I'm going to give you guys three tips on how to get a wider mix from your production. So let's talk about it. Let's get right into it. So let's start with the sounds. So the, the first sound that I chose was this right here, and this is from Arcade. And I have the link in the description for Arcade. I'm using the Space Dust patch, and that sounds like this. All right, so that already has a ton of stuff in it. You have your space level, you have your sprinkles, uh, then you have your band pass and your width. Choosing sounds that have wide width is the key here. So if you want a wider mix, uh, first thing is having a wide sound. Now this patch has a, a reverb already baked in it and it has like a delay already in there. So let's put the same MIDI on here and let's compare. So let's go to the actual patch that I used. night and day find some really good stereo pads uh that will create space um in dimension uh to add to your production so um let's go to a section where i have all of the chords going so if you have chords um i have a midi pack available for you guys in the description if you guys need some fire chords like this um to set you in a vibe but let's go to this section right here uh and then let's take the vocal chops off and let's just go into where all the choir stuff is in the in the pads so over here so we got some stuff going on here then we also have some roads so you can find you some roads patches that uh pan left and right um, that will help you out a lot. So for these roads, I'm actually using Keyscape and I'm using the Rhodes LA Custom. And by default, this patch is already panning left and right. So that also gives you um, width from the beginning, just from the production. So the next patch that I'm using uh, to create some more width is this smooth pad. Cool. and I'm using Frozen Reels in Omnisphere, and this is uh, featuring Unclean Machine. I have the link in the description for Omnisphere. Pads, choirs, anything that has built-in reverb and built-in delays in it is definitely going to give you a wider mix from your production phase. So the next thing I want to talk about is panning. So panning is very important. Now for this one, it's very minimalistic um, on the drum production. But if you also want to create some width, um, you can always pan your hi-hats maybe to the left a little bit. So let's uh, change this panning setting here to uh, stereo pan. So now we have it truly uh, panning to the right and to the left. So we could take the hi-hat here. Uh, let's solo the drums. Let's take the hi-hat and we can pan the hi-hat over to the left. Centered. Let's go back to the left. So just a simple nudge over to the left can create more space and dimension in your production phase to give you a wider mix. So panning is definitely an option. If I had a lot more percussion, this would definitely be a lot more transparent by panning your percussion, maybe your shaker to the right, maybe your uh, bongo to the left. This will give you a really good uh, depth perception of having a wide mix. And so now we're going to get into uh, reverb and delay. I'm going to combine these two together. Let's say if I had like a snap. Nothing you know, man. That's honey. Cool. As you can hear, you know, that snap is dry. So to create space, add some reverb. Now, I like to use the H verb uh, from Waves, but you can use any reverb. You can use a stock reverb if you'd like to get the same effect. I'm going to add some reverb time to this. This is one of my favorites. And then it has these input and output echoes. So it's going to give us like a little bit of like pre-delay and, and like a nice delay effect. 
Can you know me? That's honey. Big difference from now the snap sounds like it's a part of the record. So that's H verb on a snap to add some dimension um, to your to your production. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about delay. And so with that delay, it's now making the symbol sound wider and more open. And uh, a delay I love to use is comeback kid. Now this delay is very unique um, because it has a wider and a richer knob and that really takes whatever sound you put this on to really the next level so the symbol without the delay sounds like this and then put the delay back on So this wider knob is where the magic is happening. So I did a high cut and a low cut and set the time to a um, quarter note. This is a patch in Omnisphere, glass bowl pluck. And that sounds like this. Now I put some comeback kit on there and that made it sound like this. So we were talking about ping pong. So now we have the ping pong effect going from left to right. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, another thing I wanna talk about in the delay section of things is you can actually use a sample delay and you can use logic sample delay. So you can go over here to delay and then go to sample delay. And another trick, now you gotta be careful with this one with phasing issues, but a good trick is always to delay the right side. So this is even right now, they're both at zero. But if I delay the right side just a few ticks, you see the hi-hats got wide. Down the center, So we talked about reverb and delay like separate, and now we're gonna combine the both of those together and do some sound designing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a vocal chop from uh, our arcade, because they have the best vocal chops ever. So here's the vocal chop right here. Nothing you know, man. Nothing you know, man. So the first step we did from the previous was the EQ, rolled off the top end and the low end. Nothing you know, man. So now we already have a depth change. It's not in front of our face clean anymore. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add this delay, the uh, comeback kit, and we we use the wider uh, setting, the high cut, low cut, and everything like that, and that's giving us this. Okay, now we're gonna add the H verb. So we're gonna combine the same strategy. Now I left the input echoes and the output echoes on, but with this one, I actually have it set a little bit on the wet side, more on the wet side. So that gives you the best of both worlds, gives you a really super wide sound by using uh, a reverb after a delay. That's honey. See there? Let's see how this all comes together um, using everything that we talked about. Vocal chops, pads, everything. Cool deal. Those three things are definitely going to transform uh, the width of your mix from the production phase instantly. I hope that this gave you guys some value. If it did, give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else. Once again, if you're interested in having these type of chords, I have my Vibes MIDI Pack Volume 1 in the description for you guys to cop. It has all of these progressions and way more. Just drag and drop them in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Watching, check it out I have some free stuff for you in the description as well as some really good resources and affiliate links to help your boy uh, give you guys more content that's it for me and I'll catch you next time